Hello to everyone, this is Sepp and welcome back to Castle in the Darkness. And uh, we just killed probably the most pathetic boss, well at least the second stage of him, uh, in the game. Because he didn't do anything and we're gonna continue on and see what other horrors can kill me. Probably spikes, more spikes and some more spikes. Because uh, I've really been exploring every spike there is. Can we go down here? Well, let's just check it out. Yes, there is actually something here. But we need a jokey. Haven't found too many of these keys that we need, so... Not that I remember where we had doors to use them on anyway. Well, there was the clock tower key, which I never actually used. So, uh, we can always go back to explore that part as well. Because the clock tower was apparently at the beginning of the game. Which again makes no sense because uh, clock towers need to be at the, at the end, you know. Thank you for your money. Um, yeah, you come over here, man. Uh, actually, you can both come over here and I'll just blast you with magic. It's good to remember that you have magic in this game. Okay, anything in the wall? I haven't really checked out most of the walls in this area, come to think of it. Uh, hello, frog. What are you gonna do with that switch? You bastard. That's such a knuckles way to think to do. Uh, what's over here? Safe point? Safe point! Yes! Anything in the wall here? Nope, nothing. Could use a new uh, weapon because enemies take quite a beating here. Is that wall cracked? No, it looks cracked. For once I see... Okay. Okay, yeah, I need to do it the hard way. Awesome! Well, here goes. And of course they are instant death. Great. That's just great. Oh boy. Whoa. That was not very smart, but eh, got away with it. Almost ran into that one. Yes. Now please don't kill me so I don't have to do it again. Ooh, item. What do we get? Wing boots. Can yes, I can double jump. Finally. Ouch, fire. Sweet. Now we can explore uh, a lot of stuff in the in the game world. You bastard. I do believe. And let's uh, save it up here. And let's climb out of this place again. The second hop isn't too... Uh, too big actually. And there was something up here as well. I forgot. You know what? Screw that. I'm, I'm gonna explore the whole place again at some point anyway. So let's just move on here first. Let's do that with some magic. So I can make uh, quick work of that guy. Okay, what's in here? I like the magic in this game, it works fairly well! Crap. Although again, I don't like the charging factor of, the, of it, but at least it's effective, so it's worth your charging time, I suppose. Wow, that guy has a big reach. A big reach indeed. Okay, buddy. A 
can't make it normally, right? Nope. Unfortunately, I cannot. How do you make that? Oh wait, I, I double jumped just before I hit the block, I think. Oh well. See you ba guys back there. Okay, let's do this for real now. For real, real this time around. Huh. Yeah, right, right. Let's see. Yes! Money! Eh. Uh, are these gonna crumble as well? Probably. Or not. No! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, finally I made it to the other side. That took way longer than it needed to be, but I suck. What can I say? Oi. Ah. Fine, don't die. I'll get you yet. Okay, now for the plant over there. Safe point, sweet. Oh no. Hi Glenn. You went and leveled up yourself up, huh? Well he still sucks when walking at least. Okay, ouch. Watch out when he jumps. At least as you don't stop stopping again, then then I know I'm fine man. Whoa. Ah, stupid bubbles. <laughs> Why does it have to be bubbles, man? Uh, with the boomerang, he actually seems a lot easier, honestly. Because now you can actually attack him from the front. Just watch out when he... Uh Pounds the ground like uh, DDD or someone else who's fat. It's not really a frog like ability, uh, honestly. Like bubbles? Okay, I can see that. He's a lot faster, that, that, I'll give him that. Can you stop it with the freaking bubbles? They're not very effective, they're just making me nervous. Ouch. Mew! <laughs> yes! Don't tell me you escaped again because you clearly blown up. Okay. No, he, he kinda gave up his heart. So, I guess we won this time around. Could have given me back my armor, man, that you stole. Or is it over here? That's a small chest. Ooh, sword. Runic blade. Let's equip that. Uh, hello? Can I equip that? Okay, so I'm missing another weapon, apparently. Uh, runic Blade. Blade can absorb certain types of magic. Attack power 5. Cool. Uh, yeah, we still only have this stuff. And actually, what do the relics say? Ares Gauntlet allows you to break certain blocks. Yeah, uh, doesn't really say anything cool. Nope. Okay. Items. Who put this there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that gives you two. Uh, two extra HP. Cool. Eh, it's not that big, but yeah, we're gonna kick ass.
Rogue Meister's gun. What's over here? Windy ruins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Perhaps now is actually a good time to head back and explore more of the world now we got the bo wing boots. Why don't we do that? So join me back at the beginning of the game and we'll explore some things. You know what guys, screw exploring the first part of the game, because why? Well I would need to uh, go through that gauntlet again and I'm like, eh, screw it. <laughs> we'll find a warp point again, I hope. And the game just crashed. Awesome. Be right back. Alright, let's do that again. Whoa. Dude. Okay. Ah, here's a warp point. Look at that. How convenient! Almost made all my way back through there. Uh, why doesn't it one uh, work anymore? What? Why doesn't this one work? That this is a bit weird. Anyway, let's uh, go back all the way to the beginning and explore some things. See, uh, see what we can find. Like up here. Can we go there? We still can't. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? Ah, there we go. Anything here? Nope, nothing. Anything in the room here? Yeah, we can go up there, right? You 100 year old man. Enter. What's here? Ooh, money. Always handy to have some. Whoa, there was a lot of cash. Cool. Ouch. Uh, yeah, and over there there was a big treasure chest, if I remember correctly. I like exploring old areas for uh, some loot you couldn't get before. What's in here? The crystal shock. Let's equip that. What does that do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So, what else is here? Safe. Oh yeah, the clock tower, of course. Still got uh, that place to explore as well. Ouch. Yeah, and let's use that key then, why don't we? Oh, and there's a chest here. Some money. Okay, nice. Money is always good, right? And uh, yeah, we've plundered that. And finally, a weapon that actually does some damage. Thank you. Now be careful, sir, because spikes and such can still kill you. And even though it's the first part of the game, doesn't mean it's easy or anything. Oh, this state that. Wow. <laughs> Go in here and see what we can find. Uh, anything over the other side? No. Okay, let's go in here. Armor. Sweet. Chainmail. Uh, oh crap, I equipped it. Not sure. That's a good thing. Hello, Mr. Owl. Wow. Whoa! Screw you. He's not too tough. Uh, yeah. That was kind of pathetic, Mr. Owl. Escaped. Oh, he'll be back. Okay. Uh, can we go up there? Yes, we can. What's up here? Or down here, actually. Um, probably should have kept to the left more there. Let's see, there seems to be something there. And I should check out the, uh, the chain mill. 
if it's actually better than the plate mill. Um, typical RPG logic says no. And I just equipped it like a dullard, but eh. There's nothing here. Seems like we need three keys or something for this. Oh well. Yeah, you, you go away, man. Uh, anyway, let's check out the armor. Yeah, chainmail, two defense. Okay, nope. Let's stick to the plate then. And uh, let's continue on. Let's explore the first part of the game and then call it quits, I suppose. And that one random coin, which makes no sense. Can we go up there? Well, we can, but there is nothing there. Okay. Uh, can't do there anything yet, because we don't have the museum key, I think it was. So let's move on, see what else we can find. Freaking spikes! I knew those were gonna get me at some point. <laughs> Oh well. Because they are placed so near to the edge of the screen, so when you just walk or jump like an idiot, like I did, then uh, yeah, you're gonna fall straight into them. But yeah, see, even if you walk, and that bird got me again too, I, I, I seem to remember that bird killing me. Can you make this jump? No, not by a long shot. Oh, sorry buddy, almost killed you. Uh, we can go over here it seems. Oh wait, let's first save it. Yeah. And boom, boom. Okay, cool. Uh, hi. My goodness, that is such a stupid attack. Good thing these guys don't uh, do as much damage anymore. Oh wow, okay, wh when it does connect, it does a ton of damage. Uh, okay, I can do this. Crap. Kind of figured that would happen, but eh, oh well. <sighs> okay. Ooh, what's this? Summon Falcon. Cool, so now we can... Uh... So that replace my magic, but does he attack enemies automatically or something? Cool! I like this. I like this a lot. Probably doesn't do a whole ton of damage, but... Uh... Hi. Who cares? What do you gotta say? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't notice you before, sorry. <laughs> so, can we go up here as well? We can. But, uh, can we make that? Doesn't seem like we can, unless. No. Nope, can't make that yet. And there's the uh, the inn, which is totally pointless. Was there anything in here? No, there was not. And that falcon does a lot of damage as well. Cool, I like it. Whoa. Anything all the way at the beginning? I don't think there is. No. Oh wait, in this house, I think. Yeah. 
sweet. What do we get? Midas ring. What does that do? I don't know. We'll find out once we find a save point, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, is the relic? Yes. Midas ring. You will now attract richer. You will now. At okay. I guess we get more uh, gold. Sweet! Awesome! So we made a good haul, uh, guys. And next time we will continue on exploring some of the earlier parts of the game. And join me then, back again, and we'll check it out. Until then, take care!